Visiting with Hewell Hauser is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation. Well, hello, everybody. I'm Hewell Hauser, and here we are. It's a Tuesday afternoon, about 2 o'clock, and it's one of those hot, hot, hot summer afternoons. It's got to be, what do you think it is, Mr. Tate? It's pushing 100. Oh, I think it's over 100. I think it's about 110. So the Tate family has invited me to come out here and spend the afternoon with them on their boat out on Lake Castaic. But the only catch is, and what you're going to find unbelievable, is the boat that we're going to spend the afternoon on is like any other you have ever seen before in your life. This is a very unusual boat. Well, now we're heading down to the water. This is where we get in the boat, right down here on the water, and we're driving the car right down to the edge of the water. And what's the catch, Mr. Tate? Go ahead and reveal our story to everybody. Well, the catch is you better make sure the bilge pump is, uh, bilge plug is in and that the doors are securely latched. Otherwise, we might be swimming back you. I do have life jackets back here if we need them. Mom and Dad had never sunk it, so I think we're in good hands. All right, so wait a minute. The story is that Mom and Dad had originally bought this back in 67, uh, brand new. They were looking for a uh, second vehicle, but yet they wanted a boat. And uh, they'd come up on this lot that had this, and Dad said, look, you put a tow bar on that, I'll, I'll tow it out of here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The story is, this isn't a car. Well, we're yet to find that out, I guess, huh? We're going it isn't to... a boat. Well, it's an amphicar. car. It's an amphicar. car. Now, Mrs. Tate, tell me a little bit about your, what do you call this, an amphicar? car? This is an amphicar. car. It does everything but fly. <laughs> we have traveled in a motorhome for like 20 years, uh -huh. all over the United States, Canada, and Mexico. And we had a little Honda to ride on. We had two bicycles to ride on, but we needed something a little more comfortable to park our motorhome and go to the lake or go to town ah. or whatever we wanted to do in a little car. So this was the choice. And you got this back in? 1967. Now, I know we met a guy who came over to us a minute ago. Your name, sir, is? Gilbert Pena. And you came up and said yeah. what to these people? Well, I was fascinated because I remember when I first came out here in the late 60s, early 70s, my kids were little at the time, and we used to go to Pudding Stone. Uh -huh. And we used to see them launch it out there, and my boys were just fascinated with it because here they had a car that was a boat. So they're kind of celebrities. They are to would, us, yes. Would they cause kind of a scene when oh, they would? Oh, just like here. Everybody just flabbergasted when they see it. I mean, yeah. uh, the only we, thing we wanted to make though was to ask the people if they wouldn't like a ride in something different. Ah. And this is what we enjoyed. So you ended up spending a lot of time taking people for rides in this. Exactly. Thing. And since my husband and I don't do this thing that much anymore, do our help, our son, bless his heart, is just a perfect humanitarian. Now he really is California gold. Uh huh. Because he's so nice taking people right. around in your amphicon. Right. Well, come on over here, Mr. Tate. We hadn't talked to you yet. Okay. How expensive was this thing when you bought it, if you mind me asking? Uh, I think it was somewhere around 3200 Well, that was pretty expensive back in 1967. Yeah. Yes, it was. But they didn't sell too good because no one would finance them because it's two items. And also, on count oh, of it. wait a minute. So you were financing a boat and a car? Correct. Wow. Uh, Never had thought about that. And the it insurance carries, was real hard to get because yeah. of that. It's up to now, it's still real hard with, to get it insured. No one will touch it uh -huh. because it's a car and a boat. <laughs> we and, got it insured to an, an antique insurance company because really? it is 67 years uh, 
1967 model. Now, who made this car? Amphicar Corporation. So it was just, it was its own company called yeah. Amphicar. In West Germany, they built the motors for them. They built everything. And how many do you figure are operating today? Probably maybe a hundred if you could find them. Because it has a look kind of like a Nash Rambler or a Rambler. Remember right. this when they when they came out? Yes. Uh -huh. And a little Spitfire. Uh, the, the little Triumph Spitfire was very much like this. Uh -huh. And it has the Spitfire engine. Now, is this the original color? Let's walk around yes. and take a look at everything, this Louis. Is the original color. Uh huh. I, uh -huh. What do you call that color? I believe uh, it's a teal green. Teal green. I believe that's what it's called. And how has it held up over the years? Well, real well. We've uh, toted about uh, 300,000 miles oh behind the motorhome. And how many miles does it have on the odometer? I don't know offhand. Does it, it, it registers whether it's in the, does it register in the water as no. well or just on the highway? No, just, just on the highway. Have you spent more time with it in the water or on the road? Uh, Probably about 50-50. Really? Well, Close that's the way it ought to be. Look at this. Now, what is this? That's it's the horn and the breather for the gas tank. Right there. Right in that little horn there. Mr. Tate, can we turn the horn on and hear what it sounds like? <laughs> That'll get you. Yeah. <laughs> and, well, I don't know what other questions to ask out here on the land because the idea is we're getting ready to go out on the lake itself. You betcha, and we're ready. I've checked the bilge plug, it's in place. Both bilge pumps are working. Um, get you in here, lock up the doors, and let's go for a cruise. Now we got, this is very interesting, the only car I've ever seen that you gotta put life jackets on before you get into it. Well, it's fully uh, Coast Guard approved, fire extinguisher, life jackets, spark arresters. Uh, anything that the Coast Guard would uh, want to see on a boat, this automobile has to have it as well. So your car has to meet all the boating yeah, requirements yeah. as well as the car requirements. Yeah, I've kind of nicknamed it uh, Double Trouble, the uh, trouble of an automobile, the trouble of a boat. <laughs> but it's also the fun of an automobile and the fun of a boat. Oh, all of that. And, and more. And you're carrying on in their tradition. I love it. Because I'm sure as I a kid, you loved riding around in this thing, you didn't you? You betcha. The kids that we're going to meet later, my, my um, uh, daughters and my uh, sister's daughters, dad used to take them to school in it, and they'd ask him to park down the street because they didn't want to drive up in the amphibious car. Well, they were embarrassed. Yeah, they, they were kind of shy. They were embarrassed? And now they can't believe it. They want to get it right in this car every chance yeah. they can. Well, see, if you wait long enough, things right. come around. Don't That's they? right, tradition. OK, we've got it cranked up. We're That's releasing right. the brake. That was a propeller gear shift. And here we go. Oh, my gosh, this is a hottie. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This yeah. is a strange. This is a strange feeling. Yes, it is. This is here. In this <laughs> lovely. <laughs> no hassle. No hassle. Having to get it organized, put it in the water, off of a trailer or nothing. Just drive it in. Just drive it in. This has got to be the most. One of the most unusual things I've ever done in my life. I grant you, it was when we first did it too. It feels different from riding in, in a boat. A car or in a boat, right? Yeah. Not much more luxurious. But don't go fast. But who has to go so fast? Life is too short, you yeah. know. <laughs> You're just sitting back there like the queen bee. That's right. I've learned how to relax. <laughs> <laughs> how Lord, fast can this thing go? It'll go about 12 knots uh -huh. in the uh, water. And what if a wind came up? Uh, could this thing get swamped? Not very easy. Uh -huh. Not very easy. So it's reliable? Oh, yes. Yes, it's reliable. Has it ever started leaking on you? No, we try to keep it up. The gaskets and stuff so it won't uh, leak. Uh-huh. 
And if it does, it's got an automatic, two automatic belch pumps on it. This is the most interesting thing. I just wonder why it never really caught on. Too much trouble to get license and insurance. That's it. Because it, I guess... They didn't, do a lot, they didn't spend a lot of money on advertising or promoting it. They put all their money into the mechanics of it. How'd y'all find out about it? Well, you know, it's real crazy. Didn't know a thing about this boat until we seen it on the car lot. And I told my husband, that's the most unusual little thing I've ever seen. Let's go back and look at it. Uh -huh. We don't want that thing. I said, come on. And because we're in the motorhome, we're having to turn around back and forth, you know, go back and look at it. Three times. My dad says, this is it, just like that. Yeah. But then I buy things like that, you uh -huh. know, cars and things. I see one and I buy them. Boy, when you bought this one, you bit off something, didn't you? Yes, we did. It's really a dealer. <laughs> now, I got my back to the door. I'm afraid I'm going to oh, go up against the right. handle by mistake. Uh, no, no, you handled us way down here. Oh, okay, so it's a kind of a safety handle. Right, exactly. This is something. Now, how fast can we go? Wow. Hey, on. This is it. Look at it coming up over the front. This means hope it don't decide to die. Look at this. What do you mean, die? <laughs> I'm having fun with you. Every now and then we can hit a wake, and it'll literally come right over the top of it. It's a fair weather boat. If the weather gets rough, you roll the windows up. If it gets real rough, you better put the top up and turn both pumps on. Yeah. But I've had it in some rough weather, and it's done just fine. Need to use your windshield wipers. Well, that's, we'll be doing that when we head back into the wind. Really? Oh, you betcha. And let's blow that horn once just to get a... <laughs> what are you laughing about? Oh, that horn gets me. <laughs> Brings back a lot of memories. Talk about your memories for a minute here. Well, I've had so many memories, I don't know where to begin. Uh-huh. Life is just a joy, that's all. And we're still making them. And a lot of that joy has been spent in this car. Yes, it has. Or this boat. With these kids. Uh -huh. <laughs> we, we, had, we got a whole boatload of kids over there with Louie. Right. We have a large family. Uh -huh. we, we had just the two children, our son and daughter. Our son gave us four daughters. Our daughter gave us twin girls and one grandson. That's seven grandkids. Uh -huh. Out of all of those seven grandkids, we now have 11 great grandkids. Oh my gosh. And we have seven great grandsons and only four granddaughters. <laughs> and believe it or not, our granddaughters' names all start with A. Oh my uh huh. God. Amber, Ashley, uh, Amanda, and Abigail. Now Aren't that's those a whole precious? nother Tate story that's that I didn't right. expect to be hearing. That's right. That is a precious family for you. And who decides who gets the boat and when? Well, Terry, how do you divide it up? Terry, our son, is the one that really enjoys it and takes care of it. We no longer can service it. We're pretty much tired and retired. <laughs> but we have all these memories, and bless his heart, he sees to it, and our daughter sees to it, that we get out and still enjoy life. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. How long has it been since you've been out in this car? Oh, we were out about a month ago up yeah. at Laughlin. Oh, you take it to Laughlin? What do all the kids up there think about this? The kids all go with it. <laughs> but I mean all the kids on the uh, river up there. They stand in line waiting for our son to take them for a ride. Really? Mm -hmm. So this is a hot commodity. This is retro at its best. Right. This is our only way of giving right now <laughs> to the humanity of this world. Yeah. Well, it's a good way. Can we start up again and just show us? Look at this, Louie. Look how we... Look at this. It's up over the wheels. Yeah, yeah. What'd you think, the wheels are rolling on the bottom? Well, no, I didn't know. I'm just saying it's it's funny looking. It's It sits about halfway down, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the deal. Yeah. Actually, it's not even halfway. It don't plane out like a boat necessarily. Uh -huh. The front end will come up a little bit. 
when you're out here, you're just kind of just cruising around in this. It's a, it's a cruiser. I never run it that uh, hard. I normally run it between 1,800 and 2,000 RPM. That's only 1,000 more RPM. That's all that little 43 horsepower will do. Uh, as they've seen, the propellers on this is quite large, and that's a lot of, a lot of propeller for that little motor to spin. Is this the original engine? This whole car is original other than the seat covers. Really? It has never been restored. It's just been kept up the best that we could over the years. Let's turn around and Louie, we're gonna show you what the propellers look like when we're taking off. Let's turn around and speed up so we can see these propellers in action. You gotta give a turn signal. After all, I am in a car. <laughs> there we go. It causes a pretty good little wave. Yes, it does. Yeah, they both can cause a larger one, though, that gives us that little rock. Oh, my gosh. It's really splashing up on us now. But isn't that nice on such Look a hot that. day? Oh! Free Whoa. bath. <laughs> Free shower. You get a sprinkle. Now, what's that? Just cause of the wind? The wind is carrying it. We're hitting these little waves. Hi. Oh, yeah. I at one time wanted to take it to Catalina in the ocean. Oh my but, God. But uh, I kept hesitating on kind of the uh, rush so bad in the salt water. So I never did take this one, but there has been one that went to Catalina and back. Now, I, I got to tell y'all, I'm having a great time out here on the lake. But I'm not getting in this car when you go to Catalina. <laughs> <laughs> you don't uh, have to worry about it. It ain't going in any salt water. Yeah. It's enough work trying to keep the rust out of it just being in fresh. Yeah. Now we've stopped for a minute because you wanted to introduce us to somebody. Yeah, this is a work buddy of mine here, Steve, and his wife, Shelly Madrigal. Howdy. They're the folks that I had uh, brought out here a few months back, and they were so impressed with. Uh, the little car, the little boat, that they had wrote you, Fuel, and uh, they sent me an email and they, told me. Yeah, yeah. Where are the two people that? Where are the people who wrote me? No. Hey, thank you very much. Cool? Yeah. yeah, they wrote me a letter and said this was the most fun they had ever had, and that I ought to come out and try it myself. Here we are. Here we are. Hey. Well, I'm sorry there's not room in here for you today. <laughs> All right, we're off. Let's head off again. This is very interesting. It's a very simple dashboard. Yeah, it's simple. Uh, I might mention to you, Hill, the car literally steers off of the front tires. Each tire is its own rudder. There's no rudder on the boat. The tires, as they turn, turn the car, uh, turn the boat. So the tires act as rudders. As rudders. So you got two rudders, two propellers, two rudders. Double trouble. And basically, this is about as simple a dashboard as I've ever seen. It's the very basic. Looks very much like early model Volkswagen. A few extra knobs and stuff to handle the bilge pump, running lights, uh, that kind of stuff. But yeah. other than that, it's real early model basic. Now, we talked about how much power it has as a boat. How much power does it have as a car? I drove, how fast can it go? I drove it up here at the speed limit, 65 miles an hour, uh, and it, it will go on up to 70 plus. Uh, it's amazing. The, the high gear in this is very high. The low gear is very low for pulling out on the boat ramps. It, it just moves right along, moves right along. And this is a German car? West Germany, yes, uh-huh. And how many of them do you figure they made? I understand they made about 3,500 of them. And that's, uh, like I say, the uh, problem with the uh, emissions and uh, the lack of uh, a sales department, I understand is why they went by the way. Yeah. They're real good in the snow, too. What? And as a four-wheel, uh -huh, they go everywhere, like a four-wheel drive. With the bottom being so flat, Huel, and all the weight put over the independent rear axles, it has a very good traction. But the bottom is like a boat bottom, so in the snow, it just pushes right along. 
So you've been on the highway, you've been in the snow, you've been in the water? That's yeah. right. And we've even been kind of four-wheeling up with our ranch. <laughs> and it's wonderful to go on a lake like this or something and go fishing. Fish right out of the car. She gets in the front of the back and vice versa, and we cast our line out, catch our fish, and then take them back to the motor home and have dinner. <laughs> We've been married 56 years, boy, and so thereby we've had a lot of fun before, and we're going to have a lot of fun afterwards, including jaunts on this car, <laughs> boat. Including what? Jaunts on this boat car. <laughs> ah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Get cooled off. <laughs> Get cooled off a little bit. <laughs> Free shower! See, I'd be worried that it gets swamped. Not to worry, have faith. There is no flotation devices in it. There's no air cavities to speak of, no styrofoam, uh, no chambers. If it was to go down, it would go down like a rock. It's 2,800 pounds of iron. It's a pretty heavy little car for what it is. What makes it flow? Uh, just that we're displacing more water than what the weight of the car is. That's it? That's it, just like a big battleship. Yeah, we'll get the wave off of this boat. Oh boy, we're gonna get the wave, Louie. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, you're gonna get wet. Get wet. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. What was that all about? Hey, we're cool now. <laughs> we're cool now. I'm sitting in about four inches of water. Not really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not really. It'll go right out. <laughs> then there's enough water in the bells why the pumps will come on and Pump it out. <laughs> I might as well just jump on in the lake now. I'm a, just jump. Don't open the door, please. <laughs> One of the things we get a, I get a big kick out of, when we go to go into the water, everybody will holler, we'll help you, we'll help you, and they all come running. They think the brakes have gone out on the car or something and to help me and I'll holler back at them, we're okay. And I just pull out in the water and they all stand on the beach with their mouth open. Right. With their mouth open, dumbfounded. <laughs> well, we're having a ball out here. This is about as much fun as I think I've ever had. Thank you all very much for we allowing us to come out here today. Welcome. We know we initiated in, you into one thing. Today. Yeah, this is the first for us. Never thought I'd be doing this. Let's just head on out across the water as we say goodbye. This has been, we want to thank the Tate family <laughs> and everybody else out here at Lake Castaic for showing us a wonderful time this afternoon. This has been the experience of a lifetime on a beautiful, sunny summer afternoon in Southern California out on Lake Castaic in an amphora car. Goodbye, everybody. Wave goodbye. Bye. Bye. Let's head on out. Just a little bit, or I can put her in, put the wheels in. And the wheels are. So now out. we've, now it's a car now. It's going to be a car just about where, come on, there it is, we're a car now. Goodbye. <laughs>
Thank you so much. You know, you're welcome. I'm real happy to have been able to have you with us. Visiting with Huell Hauser is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation.